For problem 6, we are giving this plot and we're asked three different questions. First of all, is asking if if you drop it at x equals 1 at rest, if it will move either to the left or to the right. Mm, first thing we want to notice is the total amount of energy in the system. We know that E in these systems equals D, the kinetic energy plus U, the potential energy. And we know that at 1, T is 0 and U is 4 joules. So we know that the total energy is 4 joules. So there is no way the particle will surpass the boundary of 4 joules unless you do work on it and apply some extra energy that will take it over this boundary. So this region is forbidden to the particle. Mm. Then the only way the particle will be able to move uh, along the potential is to the right. So that's the answer to the first part of the problem. Then it's asking for when will the velocity will be maximum and what will that velocity be. So we want to apply the same exact thing. The total energy will be equal to d max and when the kinetic energy is maximum for conservation of energy to remain u needs to be minimum and the minimum potential energy here we can see is going to be equal to 1 joule so you have t max plus 1 joule is equal to 4 therefore t max is equal to sorry 3 joules and it's directly related to the kinetic energy so this, will, this is what will give us our maximum speed and we see that this will happen at x equals 4 meters for u to be minimum this by definition equals mv squared over 2 so then this will be equal to the square root or v max of 3 joules 6 times no 2 times 3 joules over 0.03 kilograms or 30 grams 0.03 in 3 that's uh, 100 times 2 is 200 joules over kilograms is meters squared per second squared so if we take the square root of 200 it's the same as the square root of 100 times the square root of 2 so 10 times the square root of 2 meters per second square root of 2 is around 1.41 so this is around 14.1 meters per second and now it asks for the turning points so if the particle is moving to the right the moment it will stop and will have to come back will be 6 because it cannot overcome this boundary and for when it's going to the left same happens at x equals 1 so the turning points are at 1 meter and 6 meters